6,800, 15 pounds. The J-Flight 28 RLS here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, there's a lot of floor plans out there. They have the two rear recliners, the big super slide, you know, the front bedroom. That's, I mean, this is a very, very industry classic floor plan. So why is the J-Flight version among the very most popular of them? And there's a bunch of little reasons for it, but none of those are really because it's shorter, lighter, and less money. In point of fact, if you look at versions of floor plans like this, it's a little bit longer, it's a little bit heavier, it's a little bit more money than most of them. But it's also a floor plan that means no compromises. You get a bigger bedroom with a bigger bed, bigger bathroom, you know, large living room. You get it all here instead of having to say, well, I can get three out of the four things I want. Jayco gives you all of them. Now, it may not look like it at first glance, but the 28 RLS is like 99% travel accessible. Uh, that one little cabinet below the TV on the left, that's about the only thing you're going to lose out on. Now, uh, you know, I've got the slide fully retracted right now, and I want to stress fully because, and this is something that amazes me, it's just a, it, just inc it just impresses me. The links that some people will go to to try to get a sale no matter what. I had a viewer like you send me a, a link of another dealer's YouTube video walkthrough of a similar floor plan to this, and they actually had left the slide open about nine inches so that you could just do a sideways squeeze through that super slide and saying, look, this is fully travel accessible. You can get through this thing. The problem was I know this camper and so did that viewer and it was not the case. It was not a travel accessible floor plan and it amazes me because they're going to bring you in the door under that false pretense and then uh, when you take it home, you're going to find out, well, that wasn't true, but guess what? Too late. You own it. That's not the kind of stuff we do here at Halet RV. So, you can get to the kitchen, you can get to almost all the storage, except for t one tiny little cabinet. But how do you get to the bedroom and bathroom? Well, that's where this front entry door, the second entry door, comes in handy. Because if you're traveling, if the RV's in storage, or if you just want to uh, get it packed up, you know, without having to uh, mess with the slide order, or maybe it's parked in a place that you can't. You can get up here, you can get to the bedroom, no sweat come around the corner because you've got a very nice private bedroom here. And by the way, I want to point out the fact while I'm standing here, the little cutaway alcove for the bathroom hallway right here, it's a nice little spot to be able to get dressed in the bedroom. So if uh, you just want to come in, pull your privacy shade shut real quick, you can. And as long as I'm looking up here, look at the little attention to detail, like the little door handle stopper here so that it's not, you know, smashing against the wall. Now we come around the corner and voila, in transit, we can get to the bathroom. We can get to the shower. Again, we can get to about 99% of everything without opening the slide out. But when we get there, you're going to be glad you have it. So when we began, I mentioned that it had a bigger living room. Well, what I mean by that is this actually has a taller interior all the way through. Uh, J flights all have a six foot nine wall height as opposed to a six and a half foot wall. Um, some campers will give you a six and a half foot wall with the bubble roof. That's kind of a, 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 a different way around giving you a bigger feeling RV. But the difference here is that taller walls are more functional and have more benefits. Taller walls mean uh, bigger cabinetry because your, your effective cabinet height is dictated by the wall height. It means a taller shower all the way across. It means just a bigger, more expansive feeling. There's a lot of things that can go into it. So it's kind of a, it, it's really a big deal. You say, well, three inches, big deal. Eh, it is a big deal. It's a really big deal, especially for bigger people like me. Like I'm 6'2", 6 6'3". 6 I can stand in the shower this without my head in the bubble. That's an important factor to me. Maybe not you, but it is to me. Now, keep in mind as we go, the one that we're looking at could be different from the one in stock. For example, we will typically outfit these with a larger 15,000 BTU centralized air conditioner as opposed to the standard 13.5. We'll also typically put their thermal package on here. I'll talk more about that outside. But there are even some things that you can't see that might be different. Like, we're looking at the Sterling decor in here, and I love that more modernized uh, gray tone that we got going on here. Very sharp, very stark contrasting. I am a big fan of it. What's crazy? I think it looks good in couples campers or bunkhouses. I think it's an incredibly good universal floor plan. And I just know that myself, like a lot of people, have seen enough brown in the RV industry that I'm not saying like, I don't want any more brown in the RV industry. I'm just saying that I like a little bit of variance every now and then. Now, uh, we'll come back to the kitchen. I want to start back here in the living area. You have dual pushback recliners. 
So as you can see, I've just got the feet of the one kicked out, but if you want, those things can lie not flat, but close. Very nice for like a daytime nap if you want to slide in here and just kind of snooze out a rainy day afternoon. Now you've got little stands kind of beside between the chairs. Uh, also very handy that there's power outlets uh, in that central area if you want to turn that into a neat little phone charge station. Now you're going to find a couple things with all the windows. Like this is where I say that they don't compromise in a J flight. Like note that all the windows are fully trimmed out. And one of the things I like about that is these all have pleated nightshades. And when you pull these things down, obviously it's a near blackout, but I've noticed ever since Jayco started fully trimming out their nightshades, these uh, curtain anchors suddenly have more to bite into, and suddenly we stopped having any sort of nightshade problems in our J flights. Um, it wasn't a common occurrence, but now it's basically a zero occurrence. You'll also note that all of the windows open for ventilation, whether it's that slide side window next to the sofa on the right, or that uh, vertical sort of toothpick window to the left of the uh, chair and the matching window on the right of that chair for cross breeze. Everything opens for airflow. That's a really, really cool feature that you get in here. Now we've added the skylight to this one. That is uh, another one of those optional pieces of equipment. But again, extra light in here helps the RV look and feel a little bit brighter. And it does have a sunshade. If you do want to pull that down so that you don't feel like an ant under the magnifying glass, you can. Note that too, above your rear seating and your sofa seating, you have a little kick of extra storage. So they go ahead and give you every little nudge they can. And I also like that little uh, LED accent light below that sofa. Because if you do have guests over, and uh, you know it's not just a couple's weekend, maybe you have uh, a pair of adult friends or uh, you know a couple small kiddos that you need to sleep in here, well this one can get you through uh, a guest weekend as well. And what's nice here is with that full trifold sleeper sofa, um, again, if you need a couple adults to have some space for the weekend, you have it. Now, that little LED accent nightlight under there, like with all the lights on right now and all the light po pollution in the air, it doesn't seem overly impressive. But at night, it's this perfect little indirect nightlight where if you do have like a little kiddo who's a little spooked to the dark, they're going to feel okay. They're going to feel safe and comfortable at night. But also, if you want to navigate the RV at night, it gives you just sort of that air traffic controller like... I don't know, spotlight, so that you know where you're at in the RV. It gives you a point of reference, so you're not going to smash into anything. Additionally, kind of along the same lines there, you do have LED lighting um, under the uh, countertop as well to kind of act as another of those sort of, oh, what do you want to say, like guide beacons, like a lighthouse sort of beacon for a ship in the night heading their way to the refrigerator to sneak some leftovers from the day before. Maybe that's just my life. I don't know. <laughs> And starting with those cabinets above the rear chairs, you can notice how they flip open and they hold themselves there. You'll see the same action out of the uh, overhead cabinets above the high to bed sofa that we already mentioned. Um, so they're using nicer metallic struts and using just like the next level up kind of stuff. That's another one of these reasons why the, you know, the, the, the J Flight is and has been the number one selling RV, not just travel trailer, but RV since 05 and counting. They just use better material. They just use better stuff. That's why they have best in class trade and resale values. There's there's okay, there's good, and there's better. And this is in that better to best category, you know? Um, so what else puts them there? Well, all of our cabinet doors are all hardwood. If you reach back here and feel around, you can feel that all the cabinetry is pocket screwed. It's basically built just like a, uh, a Big Brother luxury Jayco fifth wheel, just in a more conventional package. Now, being a little bit taller, offers them the opportunity for bigger cabinets and they don't waste that opportunity by utilizing a shelf within that cabinetry to double your kitchen space. Another awesome benefit of having a wood studded sidewall travel trailer is easier reach appliance outlets and that's something a lot of people don't think about. A lot of people like the look of the fiberglass skin but they dislike how it's really hard to have good outlet access in a kitchen. You don't have that problem here. You also have drawers to the floors in J Flights. You've got one, two, three, four, count them up, plywood box drawers with beveled sanded edges there. Speaking of nicer uh, edges that won't give you splinters, we have the uh, sealed edge counter material here, the press membrane countertops in the kitchens of these J Flights so that right here around a main water source, you don't have the uh, opportunity for any sort of water penetration and, and swelling or anything. Now, don't get me wrong, a common t mold countertop, there's nothing really wrong with it. It's just that, again, this is in that better category. Um, little things, too, like if uh, I call it the wedding ring test, just tap around. You can hear metal. 
you know, you don't hear plastic in this. There's a difference. And I like that full tile backsplash there. Now, kind of like their Big Brother fifth wheels, you've got a recessed sink with a uh, fitted sort of cutting board cover and then an aluminum drying rack cover, which is kind of cool. Now, down here, like, if you just look at it, and again, this is where I don't try to mislead people, guys. I'll, I'll share everything with you and just show you as it is, how it is. You know, that's why I don't use fisheye camera lenses. If you see someone using a fisheye camera lens, it's they're actively trying to deceive you into buying a camper. That's just not how we are, not how I am here at Halo RV. So, you look at this cabinet door and you're like, holy crap, huge cabinet, right? Well, no, not so much, but it's because your water heater's down there and your easy access to your bypasses are down there. So if you wanted to pop that little shield out, you could get a little extra room, but do so at your own risk. Now, you've got a standard larger eight cubic foot fridge freezer here in a J flight. As compared to the uh, standard six cubic foot size, you find in most campers in a more uh, base series category. And that's the thing. The J Flight might have a wood skeleton, but it's not entry level, not by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, you've also got a larger six foot nine pantry from floor to ceiling beside that refrigerator. And you can see right here how we have uh, additional little shelved cabinet space, both above and below the entertainment center so that every single possible square inch of space that could be utilized has been. One of the focal points of a rear living room floor plan though is the entertainment center. And they nailed it here in this J flight. They, first of all, by angle mounting it on the bathroom wall, it organically kind of faces any of the seating areas anyway. Whether you're over here on the sofa, chit chatting with somebody on these rear recliners, having a little conversation, or whether you're over here grabbing a bite to eat, but you don't want to miss a moment of your favorite show, catch up on the news, whatever. It's always easy to see, but good enough is rarely good enough at the J flight plant. That's why they put this just really kind of overkill, double articulated swing arm mount on this TV. And the TV is included. We simply have them shipped loose at Halid RV. So you, uh, other than our quality control checks, you're the first one to touch them. So if you want to crank this thing right around, if you want to be able to see it from that corner chair over there, you can. There's no bad seat in the house of this J flight. Um, now below that, you've got the IRV uh, Bluetooth DVD stereo, but it does have an HDMI uh, input. And what's also kind of cool is J-Flight does run HD wiring. So it's not just an HD capable system, it's actually going to be HD in quality because of what they provided for you here. Interesting little details. Now we mentioned how the bathroom door locks. Again, that's an easily overlooked feature. Now it's not a hard thing to fix. You can just swap a lock set out or a handle, but now you don't have to. And notice too, even the, again, all the windows, these little toothpick windows, especially no one in the bedroom. There's uh, more and more manufacturers are giving you the nice big tall window like this in the bedroom, but very few of them actually open up for airflow. Over here, porcelain foot flush stool with an extra tall shower. And again, that's one of the reasons I like J Flight camping myself personally is because I can actually stand in the shower this thing and my head does not have to be in that bubble. Now, if you're even taller than me, you'll appreciate that it's there. It's only going to make you happier. Now, you can see that blue element uh, light above the uh, vanity right there. That's a sort of evening night light. So if you have to get in here at night to use the bathroom or you got a grandkid needs to use potty or whatever, they can see without turning on all the lights and disrupting everybody. Again, a shelf in the vanity to maximize the space. Towel hooks on the right side. And that's not a small sink. It's a big counter, and it's a little more evident as we continue to look down here, you can see how there's a large cabinet below it. So you do have a nice chunk for um, towels and stuff in here. You don't have to do the naked streak through the camper to try to get, you know, towel space. And note how there's, uh, there is a bathroom vent here, uh, a floor vent in the bathroom, but it's way off in the corner where you're not going to step on it, you're not gonna drip stuff on it, you're not gonna, you know, make a mess out of it, essentially. It's very intelligently located. Move it up front to the private bedroom that we kind of saw when everything was closed up, but a little more in depth now. Um, taller ceiling does mean taller cabinets and note a full overhead cabinet, not just a shelf because we are in a more higher class thing. As we come down here, uh, taller RV also means you could sit straight up in the headboard area of that bed and not clock your head. So like if you wake up real fast because you hear a funky noise outside, well, no big deal. You're not going to knock yourself back out in <laughs> sweet dreams. Extra large oversized uh, stands on both sides of the bed that are nice and wide open. 
very CPAP friendly. Now remember again, we do have that larger window over here that does open for airflow. And this thing right here is an inside out TV mount. You'll find a matching mount outside that we're going to see in just a minute. If you choose to add a second screen to your J-Flight, it's very easy to kind of float that around for multi-purpose use. This is a larger 60 by 80, true residential queen by the way, not a short camp queen. But you can see how it does easy lift for storage, even plywood deck below that. There's not OSB and particle board in the construction of this. Like we're walking on 5 8 tongue and groove plywood floor decking on top of 2 by 3 studs set every 12 inches on center. This is built solid, guys. It's it again, this is you can find a lighter weight, less expensive trailer. It's going to not have all the qualities that I've already shared plus the stuff we're about to chat about outside. One of the first things that usually catches somebody eye out here is that beautiful blue number two on the window of that J-Flight's bedroom right there. That's because this has double the warranty of pretty much anything else in this class and category. Now what confuses a lot of people is there's a lot of manufacturers throwing a big blue three on the side of their camper. That is a structural warranty. It is very limited by comparison. And that RV still has a one year warranty. In terms of RV warranties, there's one year or two year. And Jayco virtually stands alone in the two-year department. A couple brands a few years ago tried to jump up and match them, and then they since dropped back off. I think that says a lot, uh, because what that means is that Jayco's getting the job done here with uh, twice that coverage, and that's another one of those nice peace of mind things. Now, we saw um, inside how you can get to that storage under the bed there, no problem, but what you may not realize is that you have larger baggage doors on both sides of the camper. They're wider, they're taller, they're much, much easier access to slide big things in and out, such as like a solar suitcase panel, like those that we have in our part shop here at Halet RV, and that would plug right into, you see that little blue sticker right under the propane uh, tanks? That's right where that would plug in if you want some, uh, you know, portable 12 volt charging power, thanks to old mother nature and the sunshine. Now, one of the things that you can't see and appreciate just in a video like this is, not only is this just a power awning and power tongue jack, but they're higher grade, faster moving, higher quality fixtures. Uh, because again, this is not designed to be the dollar cheaper version. This is designed to be better or best in its class and category. And that's part of the reason this has a completely custom engineered chassis down here. Um, you might note how the uh, sort of tongue, the A-frame of the camper, actually melds right into the actual chassis. That's not normal in the camping business, if you're familiar with that. And I love how Jayco protects it with that extended diamond plate down there. Note that nice little hitching light. Little stuff like that, guys. It adds up. So, why do they do that? Well, that's kind of the secret as to how they're able to make the interior of the camper taller without making the exterior of the camper taller. It actually has a lower floor, which means a lower center of towing gravity but there's obviously still plenty enough clearance from the ground. Now, as we're sneaking between campers here, something I want to point out is uh, the, I told you we talk about the thermal packages J Flight. Unfortunately, we can't, there's nothing really to show you other than enclosed underbelly, but that's only where it starts. A lot of travel trailers nowadays, more than ever before, have an enclosed underbelly. Many of those, not all of them, but many of them are forced air heated and that's great. It really is great, that's nice but that's really only where the J-Flight thermal package starts. From there, it adds uh, extra layers of insulation into the underbelly, and then they add an extra insul uh, layer of insulation into the roof, and the slides of all J-Flights are already insulated, So, which is not a normal thing. Like, you say, I say that, and you're like, yeah, what do you mean? Well, like, the, the floor area of most RV slide-outs has no sort of additional thermal protection. Just the sheet of wood and the carpet under your feet is usually all that's insulating you. Jayco throws a reflective barrier down there to keep the sunshine out, to keep the, the heat in, basically. It keeps the heat where you want it, whether it's in or out. So, their thermal package is hands down the most involved, most in-depth, best in class of its kind. Now, you might note, too, that all the windows are very heavily tinted. That is nice to keep the nosy neighbors out, but it also helps with heat management from the sun. Uh, the Below that spare tire, I don't know if you can see it from here, but there is a two inch receiver hitch. That's an optional piece of equipment that we like to add to these so that you can uh, you know, add a bike rack to this thing if you want to without voiding your factory warranty. Isn't that smart? Now, uh, we've got J-Smart lighting on this, which is something that originally debuted on the J-Flight's cousin, the Eagle, last year. 
It stands for signals, markers, and reverse travel. What it does, ladies and gentlemen, is when you flip on, say, that left turn signal, not just the left tail light will flash, as is normal in the camper business, but upper clearance lights and all associated side markers will also blink with it so people can see what you're doing on the road. And of course, we are ready for a backup camera uh, so that if you're trying to be able to see behind you and uh, make sure that you're not going to bump in anything when you're backing up. Or if you get an in-motion model, you can actually see if somebody's kind of tailgating you a little close on the highway in case you need to kind of speed up or slow down a little bit accordingly. Now, right now, we're still actually hooked up to the delivery driver's truck, but uh, it's actually kind of a cool opportunity to get to see all those extra lights lit up back there, give you a little bit of sense of scope, scale, and perspective. Also, I had a quick chance as the driver was backing straight up at me. Um, not that they weren't paying attention. I was helping them back up here. Always have a spotter, guys. Um, I snapped a quick picture of those reverse travel lights in action. And like I said, I mean, it's, it's actually pretty impressive. Now, it's uh, breaking morning here. So it's mostly light, very little dark. But you could already see that uh, LED light under the awning doing a pretty bang up job. Especially under that white awning, it reflects more and you get more indirect light on your patio, which means if you maybe had a couple barley pops, the light ain't so bitey. Couple neat things over here. Awning does have auto rain dump feature, which is what that gas strut is. Although, if you do want to just keep it manually tilted and locked, that's what these little silver knobber jobbers are right there. That's a technical term, hashtag knobber jobber. Um, the outside speakers, they actually build right onto the awning, but I like how they don't build it onto the awning heads. They actually build it onto the base of the awning arms. So when the awning's closed, the volume is down low instead of being up high. So you can still keep your total volume low. And when the awning's open, the speakers are still pretty low, but pointing down. So again, you can keep your volume low, which is handy. The uh, extra large entry handle, very nice for coming and going, especially with that wider 30 inch entry door over here. Neat little feature too, Jayco's have a key like system. So for years and years, people have been inducted into the 751 key uh, club for baggage doors. Well, the way that this works is your entry door key is the same as your deadbolt key is the same as your baggage door keys. And that's your key, not the neighbor's key. So kind of just a neat little personal peace of mind security thing. Um, outside TV hookups, if you are so inclined. And how about best in class Goodyear Endurance Radials rated for 87 miles per hour. That's an awesome, awesome feature. Now, obviously you shouldn't be driving that fast, but the fact is these tires are overrated. And really it's kind of a recurring trend on this, Jayco, is that stuff that is overbuilt, overrated with the idea of uh, peace in mind, reduced maintenance, uh, longevity. Now, it seems odd that the black tank flushes over here, but that's because the bathroom's over here, which means the black tank is like right there. And for that black tank flush to be effective, you actually want it to have like the shortest travel possible so that it gets the greatest uh, push into that flush effectively. So, uh, you know, and it's just little smart details like that, like the, the overrated Goodyear tires, um, the, uh, you know, all the roof stuff that we're about to talk about as we climb up top here. That's, that's why this has twice the warranty of basically anybody else in this class. Now, I don't think that overbuilt trend is any more evident than up here on the roof. Like, if you look around just this skylight alone, you look at the heavy-handedness of the ceiling around the skylight here from the factory level, you can see that they're not about cutting corners. And that trend kind of continues as we go down through the roof membrane because uh, a lot, m most travel trailers in this category have a walkable roof. I mean, we've got 500 whatever different things over here and almost every single thing has a walkable roof. However, in this class and category, nobody has a higher load rating than Jayco. So how and why is that? Well, uh, right below the roof membrane, you've got a 3 8 plywood roof decking instead of OSB. Plywood is a little bit stronger across the span. Um, also, God forbid, somehow water does penetrate. Plywood will swell like OSB, but provided it's a, a shorter term exposure, it will also return back to shape when it dries out. Uh, OSB won't do that. Once that glue is compromised, it's just mush, it's toast. Um, so uh, you've got a little bit more load bearing there. You've got thicker roof trusses with bigger nail plates holding them together. That's called Jayco's Magnum Truss Roof System. And basically what that gives them is a, what, like 4,800 pound load rating, something like that. We actually once had a J-Flight that we sold to a customer have a tree, like big tree, fall on it from on top of a hill. It was a goofy campsite. And it hit the rear bunk room 
Well, that's a scary thought. And the roof held, it crushed a little, of course, but the roof held enough that nobody was hurt. Nobody was even scratched. And it was a slide-out bunk room, and the roof held enough that the sidewall structure was not compromised, and they were still able to retract the slide-out. That is a pretty impressive thing to me. And that's the kind of construction you're looking for here. There's nothing wrong with most RV roofs in this class and category. They're okay. There's good, and then there's better. And we're looking at best. In this cl class and category, this has the best, heavy, dutiest, longest lasting roof construction for the greatest load bearing. So, if that's what you're looking for, then give us a call. I think you're on the right track. If, you know, things like that cost a little bit more money. This is not the least expensive travel trailer of its kind. So, if what you're looking for is a little simpler, a little less money, a little more casual use. Well, we have that here at Halo RV too, and there's nothing wrong with those products, but there's reasons that they might cost a little bit less. So helping you understand those differences, that's what we do here. Not smoke and mirrors, not slides half open. We show you everything all the way every time. The real deal, Evander Holyfield. <laughs> so whether it's hitching, pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between, we do it all at Halo RV, so take care. Stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.